Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a really cool application called Moonlight on the PS Vita. And you can basically stream off your PC onto your console, and it's pretty cool. And you can play some of your Steam games that you have installed on your PC. The monitor here is showing exactly what's going on with my PS Vita, so I will run a game here real quick. And I do have, which one is the one I have installed? Let's try Astronomer or Astroneer. <laughs> We're gonna play Astroneer. And some of the games won't run as well, obviously, because they're only specifically for uh, PC gaming, right? A keyboard and a mouse. With this application, you're gonna be using your Vita as an Xbox controller. And you can see there, we're going to start a new game and it's running pretty solid it's running at uh, 60 frames and 600 frames on my PC <laughs> it's a pretty solid application it works very well very happy with uh, how well it, it does but uh, unfortunately the Wi-Fi card in the Vita is just not that strong so it does lack a little bit of juice there and you can't really realistically play far away I tried playing in my living room which is not too uh, far down the hallway and I get disconnected every single time I do play for like five minutes and then it just randomly disconnects and I have excellent uh, internet here so I'm pretty sure it's the Vita I'm gonna be showing you step by step on how to install this correctly and you will need a specific computer in order for this to be accomplished you do have to have some sort of graphics card and we're gonna go through all of that here in just a minute if you guys are interested in picking up this really cool acrylic stand I'll have a link to rose colored gaming in the description down below and using my link you will save 15% off so go check them out they have all sorts of cool stands for uh, game consoles uh, game controllers and game cartridges Let's begin with the installation of this application called Moonlight. It's an open source NVIDIA game stream client and you can easily download this through the Vita Homebrew browser. There it is. So just hit the download. It will automatically install and you're good to go. You can also download it through the Easy VPK application. Here it is, Vita Moonlight version 0.7. Just hit the X, install the VPK and you're good to go. Now if you don't have either of these working on your Vita, I'll have a link to that VPK down in the description below. Here we are on our PC, head on over to the first link in the description and that'll take you to nvidia.com and we're going to be downloading the GeForce Experience application so hit the download, go through the entire process of installing the application on your computer and then we're going to open that up and here it is really cool app that allows you to record uh, gameplay take screenshots and all sorts of fun stuff and you can also optimize uh, some of your games according to your um, specs of your PC so what we want to do is go to the gear icon up here to settings click on that so now we're gonna figure out if you're able to stream on your Vita so here are your specs of your computer under my rig very good and under game stream it's gonna let us know what it is required for us to use the Nvidia shield so stream your games to Nvidia shield and we will need a GeForce GTS desktop GPU 600 series or higher and 4 gigabytes of system RAM Let's see Windows 7 8 or 10 and the latest GeForce drivers so if everything looks good to you we're gonna go to the shield tab to the left and we want to enable the game stream here so let's click on that and we're good to go all right back on our Vita we're gonna open up the moonlight application and what we're gonna do is pair our PS Vita to the computer since I already paired my computer to my PS Vita it's already sitting there so for those doing this for the very first time just go to search devices and your computer should pop up there. Sorry for the blur, it's really hard to pick up on this uh, 
screen and and the whole UI on this is just terrible it's too small and I don't like the colors so let's go to my desktop here connecting let's pair here so it identified my graphics card very good let's pair and now on your PC screen you should see the shield is requesting to connect window pop up on your lower right hand corner and we now have a code on our PS Vita numbers 3154 let's enter that here so 3154 let's hit connect and there we go so once you have a computer paired up just go to that paired selection there and now you can see all the games you can play or what's seen through your GeForce experience. So whatever you have scanned through your GeForce experience, it will scan through your computer and see what kind of games are installed on your PC. And some of them won't show up because you have to go to the Steam selection there, the Steam application. And the one thing to keep in mind guys is you do have to have a steam open in order for this to work so let's hit steam if you don't have steam open you will get an error so just keep that in mind anytime you're streaming a game or this application you must have it open and running on your PC and there it is now it's working so here is cyberpunk it's gonna be running here shortly so there is cyberpunk running on the PS Vita how crazy is that that's insane that's a lot of fun too to be able to do something like this so what we have to press uh, start button there we go and let's hit the continue button there we go as far as dialogue goes and you're not really doing anything it runs around 30 to 45 frames per second loading screens vary if you're like not in the open world it's pretty solid do apologize for the angle right now it's just so hard to pick up on the screen on my Vita and the uh, the buttons in the back do react and if you touch on the upper right hand corner or I'm sorry it's the left hand corner you'll bring up the settings to moonlight if you want to quit the game or get disconnected or play another game or whatever there you go so let's resume connection oops so yeah the controls on the back is very sensitive so you almost have to have like your fingers here and the controls are displayed through your settings so let's go back to settings uh, let's see here if we can go back let's go to settings and you want to leave it at FPS 60 and resolution at 1280 by 720 I changed it to 1920 but I was having a lot of error and it just kept crashing so just leave it as that bitrate is good I, I wouldn't touch any of these settings I just leave it as is so here is your mouse acceleration if you think it's a little too slow you can always change that and enabling mapping file uh, back touchscreen dead zone so it's gonna bring up this uh, the screen here and it's gonna follow what's going on with your uh, fingers on the back of the touchpad very cool and you can uh, change if you want it to be a little bit smaller if you want to rest your hands a little bit and just adjust it to however you would like to adjust it right so that's a really cool feature uh, I'm going to leave it back to zero here and mess with this later so let's go back and here's your touchscreen special keys so these are your special keys to enter into moonlight and like I said you can quit the game or choose another game or whatever or go into your settings 
Uh, so top left is pause stream. The top right, we can change that to special button or any type of button that we need in order for us to play the game if it's required. So very smooth application. Sorry for the blur there. Very smooth application. Love it. So yeah, pretty cool. And let's go back to the game here. And you can't play too far away from your PC because you will get disconnected constantly. And if you have terrible internet connection, it's going to be a lot worse. And I have really fast internet here. I'm, I'm at a, a, a thousand megabytes per second with uh, 45 upload speed. And I still get disconnected when I walk away from my room. And I believe it's the fact that the, uh, me not the memory card, but the Wi-Fi card in the Vita is just not that powerful. And it's a, it's a joke. All right, so here we are in the open world of Cyberpunk. And it jumps around through frames, you can see. And I guess Cyberpunk is just not really a good game to uh, demonstrate in this video. But since it's one of the more popular ones, I wanted to show you. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.